First approach in tracking, because the internal tracking maybe is not so good because it's from 2013. Analytics Insight was my favorite for Google Analytics, doing G4 also. Um, and then I was doing bar, bars, burst, B R U B U R T, BP Statistics and Statify. Statify only tracks the views, not helpful. Burst only checks once the URL, also if it is like this and this, so it's not helpful. Okay, so let's first go through the analytics and then this is the Google Analytics, which doing the title and the name of the registration page. So it's maybe more helpful than only getting the URL, which is like all the same for default pages. If you have custom pages, then it's more trackable. Same with here. That's VP statistics. Only track once. You can see the page and here you can if you only one page. So it's like not helpful. Not helpful. So go in deep in depth. Now we're setting it up, connecting it here. Um, that was Google Analytics, and this is the burst one page. You see, this is the call to actions we preload, which is like WordPress standard, so we see it in tracking, and this is only tracking this page once, but it's like registration, thank you page, and webinar room all in one URL. Here I checked all, that we go Google Analytics again, and I tried to do some filters here, some funnels, um, but it's only doing it from yesterday or 28, last 28, so it's not doing it from today. The good thing is, you have some live tracking and um, <laughs> the rest I can't, I can't see anything. And you see page views, scroll and stuff. Pages, also two pages. And iframes. So yeah, then let's go through the webinar. I have a webinar in Cognito, in Cognito mode. Invalidate per adding one. So you see, I'm already long, a long time using it and doing your stats. And Here we go short time on thank you page and then we go to the webinar room. And you know here this is the name of it. And yeah. So that's the registration URL, and that's the name of it, and you've seen some call to actions were Upgraded, so you can also say, okay, this person has seen this and this call to action. True, the call to action does not have a name, special name. Now it's coming again, something else. It's coming here, maybe it's updating something. Ah, uh, it's only updating when it's loaded in iframe. Yeah, so.
Yeah. So maybe that's tracking. Okay. So you see it, and I think uh, a day after you can see the more stats because I just started. Mm -hmm. Page view. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. So I would say that would help a lot using this plugin from DEFCON two days ago updated because then you also get the, the, the analytics instantly here which is good for the ah yeah you wanted to see the live <laughs> the live visitors that's, that's here that's very good I can do Safari in a private window, sure. This will not work because I'm already logged in. Normally. Um, but then maybe it's showing both. But maybe it's checking only once because one because I'm only one person. That's checking also the message. <laughs> um, where's my Safari? Here, maybe I do a new registration. So, your registration. Thank you, Paige. Webinar room. It's checking it only as months. That's why we don't like to integrate because it's like our own analytics because they're really doing good here. They're just not seeing two persons. Here you can see six entries and one live user. And maybe you can say, okay, show me the live users only in... Show me the live users only in Evergreen. And then you see it. Okay, I think that will help you. And then you have good tracking. And if you like different tracking, then you can ask Google to help you. Okay, all the pages are in Google now and trackable. And one thing more, if you missing some, you can always add a tracking to registration page, JavaScript. Thank you page, JavaScript. Webinar page, JavaScript. Replay page. All is possible. That's about the tracking.